Okay, hello everyone. I'm Rafael from No Bugs Project. And today we're gonna see a Java challenge about constructors. So I'm gonna show here my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So in this challenge, we are basically instantiating the static class. It's basically just a podium with a constructor here. And uh, you can see that the Simpson Pojo is extending the character class. And then there are some logic inside here. And uh, we are passing Bart and 8 as parameter when we instantiate this class. And then we are just printing this information. So I'm going to give you some time. And then um, you can give me the answer. Okay, then, so let's see the answer. So everyone responded to this challenge. So let's uh, run this program. Whoa. Rodrigo and Rinaldo got it right. So congrats, guys. Um, it's been some time. <laughs> uh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So let's, let's see why. Let's see why it's this answer. So um, let's debug here. Um, yes, yeah, so the first thing we have to realize here is that uh, a static block is the first thing to be um, executed because it's static. So as long as this class is instantiated, um, this uh, Simpson class is extending character. So um, in order to extend this class, character has to be loaded. Um, and at the moment that the, the class gets loaded, the static block will be executed. So um, you can see that the first thing, the very first thing here is the static block. Um, and then we are passing here Bart and eight. Um, another thing you have to realize here is that it's possible to invoke the, um, the character class constructor using the reserved word super. So let's see here. Um, so we are passing the same parameter, Bart and eight. So let's go here. So we are passing Homer in the name. And here there is a trick that we are using the reserved word this. So instead of getting the um, parameter, we are getting the instance variable age. So it's this age means this one. So we are passing 35 instead of eight, okay? And then another important thing to realize here is that the parent class will be executed first. Yeah, so just keep in mind that the parent class will be executed always first, no matter if it is a static block or, um, a variable, uh, anything, uh, an instance variable. So just keep in mind that the the first to be executed will be the the parent class. Um, that's it, guys. Do you have any questions? I'm good. You you did great, man. Nice uh, nice challenge to show the the nuances of a constructor. Okay, thank you. So that's it. Is this the part of the OCA JP uh, exam? Uh, can it come in the OCA JP exam? Because I'm preparing for the OCA JP exam. It is, it is. Uh, this is um, for sure there will be questions very similar to this one. Okay. So we have to be really careful with those details because they make difference in our code and also
following the certification. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, okay. okay, so I have a question. Okay. Uh, on. Would the result be different if the static blocks were weren't static? Okay, so the difference here is that the static block will be always executed first uh, mm. because they are static. So at the moment that the class is loaded, um, the the static block will be um, executed, and you can see here, do and do two, and then the not static block will be executed, as you see here. So, and it will be um, executed at the same way at, of the static block, but they will be executed just afterwards, okay? And then they will be um, printed along with the constructor. So, um, we can, yeah, it would um, print C2 and then not static, do two c1 and homer 35 so they are very very tricky you have to be really really careful with that yeah. um so we just have to keep in mind that static will be loaded first always and then the other um the constructors and non-static blocks will be executed afterward okay so let's make um uh, a last test. Um, let's just instantiate um, this class twice. Okay, so let's run a last test here um, just to show you that um, there is one other difference between static blocks and non static blocks um, because static blocks will be run just once. So when the class is uh, accessed some way, um, it will be executed just once. And the non-static block will be executed twice. So let's prove that um, running this code here. So yes, the static block will uh, was executed just once. And the not static block was executed twice because it's, uh, it's an instance block. So every time we create a new instance, it will um, print um, the, um, the message twice or um, mm. every time we instantiate a new Simpson, um, the non-static block will be printed as well. And that was it for today, guys. I hope you um, got some value and learned more deeply about the Java car, uh, those uh, tips, they are important because it makes you, it makes you uh, produce better code and um, it makes you get rid of really tricky bugs and hiding bugs. So um, you can see more on bugsperfect.com and you can go to Java Dev Gym and take challenge weekly. They are ranked so you can compete with your um, friends and coworkers. That's it. See you next week.